Okay, my friends, good morning. It's a Monday morning, April 10th. We're going on a service call to uh, Amagansett, New York on a 424 wine cooler that's not cooling. See you there. <coughs> Okay. It would have been nice if they had it on before I got here. <laughs> okay, so this thing has been running now for about 15-20 minutes it's not dropping down in temperature at all one degree but it's not working so let's run it through a diagnostics twelve EC <clears throat> twelve EC lower cabinet warm temperature alarm Fifteen EC Sealed System Fault. Okay. <clears throat> it's gotta come out. Okay, we're back at this house. Uh, we had to uh get the customer to have some of the furniture moved so I could get the machine out. So let's go see what's going on. All right, now we got some room to work. careful pulling this baby out with this floor. I'm going to have to take off this kick plate too. It's in the way. Okay. Move that. Alright, let's get There's a, a fitting up here you can just use a, a socket if you can get it in there. But I don't have that. Turn these up all the way so we can get the sliders underneath. Okay, now I want to put the sliders 
under the rear feet. It's not gonna be easy. Take the weight off the back. This is a fairly new machine. We got a process port right here. I mean, a, we'll, put a, we'll put a tap valve on here temporarily because we got to determine what's wrong with this. It's pretty sure it's got a free on leak. Make sure you allow yourself enough room to cut this off and solder on a process port. But right now, this is, uh, we're just doing this to check the system. See what's going on because it's running and not cooling. And I did a diagnostics on it. And it suggested it was in the sealed system. So, let's find out. Yep, I'm going down, got a 12, 15 inch vacuum. Let's shoot some Freon in here. Okay. We had 71 degrees in both sections. If the temperature starts dropping, we can assume there's a Freon leak in here, which I'm not going to do today. I told the customer uh, I'd rather not do it in the house using a torch. It's just, especially with this kind of floor, it's, it shows everything. And be really careful moving these things around. Make sure we have positive pressure we're out of a vacuum. Okay, so the lower section is on. I hear... I can hear Freon metering through the evaporator. So that's circulating, which means the valve is open. Well, let's give it some more time. Okay, this thing's still running in the same 12-15 inch vacuum range. Definitely not circulating. Let's uh, disconnect the compressor. Alright, <clears throat> so this is kind of balancing out at about 37 pounds back pressure. <clears throat> Should be higher than that since it's warm inside. But <clears throat> I'm going to hook it back up. Compressor just came on. If I can get this thing to stay in positive pressure, if it doesn't, then it's it's uh, it only takes three and a half ounces. It's going to be some kind of a restriction in here. It's probably the valve. All right, we're just about one pound over zero. That's positive pressure. Um, Normally this thing runs, I'd say when you first turn it on, when it first starts its cycle, it's somewhere, you know, think about it, it's 
50, 60 degrees in there on 34A. What's the temperature? Uh, let's see. This is not a 134A gauge. This is R12 and 22. So you can follow the R12 scale. So 20 pounds back, it's going to be somewhere around 20 degrees. And you got 10 degrees for skin temperature, which would be 30 degrees. Uh, it's not showing that to me. Let's see if that temperature has come down a little bit. Yep, the upper section came down one degree. Let's see if the upper section is on. Yep, the upper, the upper section, oh, now the 69. That's coming down. That's good. That's a good sign. So, I guess it does have a leak. You know, I hate doing uh, these sealed system repairs on these little wine coolers in the customer's home. As you can see, you damage something in here, better have insurance. So, I'm putting quite a bit of Freon in here. I'm assuming it's almost empty. That's looking good, or I should say better. Now the proper way to do this is to uh, recover whatever refrigerant you have in here and weigh it in, but since it's got a Freon leak, it's got a probably bad coil. So the proper way to fix this is to change the coils. And the customer's I'm not sure if the customer wants to do that right now because he's renting his house out and he's got to get this wine machine up and running. So we'll leave the tap valve on temporarily until we come back and change the coils. And then we'll do the job right. So we're about eight pounds back pressure here. Now it's down to 67. That's good. It's dropping. That's a good sign. At least to get it working temporarily. This tank is really cold, so it's Freon's going in really slowly. 12 pounds back. Close this off. Okay, so the upper evaporator, the upper section is down to 53. Once that switches over, the lower section will um, start to cool. So, pretty satisfied that we got the problem, but we do have to change the evaporator coils. So, I'll inform the customer and see what they want to do.